Who's that? Connor O'Brien is like so many Americans, struggling to take care of a father with Alzheimer's. Growing up, uh, he was the life of the party, you know, class clown. And now I just look at him, my hero, and just, just cry. After so many drug failures, now scientists have a promising new target, inflammation. So this is what a healthy brain should look like. But when there's inflammation and disease, the nerve cells are wiped out decimated, just threads of them left. Dr. Rudy Tanzi at Massachusetts General Hospital discovered inflammation kills millions of nerve cells, shutting down the area responsible for thinking and memory. And he says there are things you can do now to fight inflammation. So these lifestyle interventions, how do those help your brain prevent Alzheimer's? Each one does something different. Sleep helps clean out the brain. Exercise helps grow new nerve cells in the brain. Diet helps your bacteria and your gut to to help your brain. New studies suggest lifestyle changes can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's by up to 60%. Dr. Tanzi says you can protect yourself with the shield. Sleep, handle stress, interact with friends, exercise daily, learn new things, and eat a healthy diet. I want to stay healthy. I hope I'm never in my dad's shoes. Simple steps we can all take to fight inflammation, the possible culprit behind this devastating disease. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Boston. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.